I see these kind of huge boulders all around a very unique place in Karnataka capital of Vijayanagara empire indeed a part of our glorious past glad that I got a chance to visit this great place and here comes my experiences Hi hello welcome to a new video this week we are exploring Hampi thanks a lot for joining in Hampi is about 360 kilometers from Bengaluru about 7 hours drive from here you can also take a train to Hospete from Bengaluru Hospete is about 15 kilometers from Hampi and you can get there by bus or an auto from Hospete Hampi is well connected via Hyderabad and Mumbai. Roads are indeed great and we need to take a diversion near Chitradurga. When you are travelling from Bengaluru to Hampi, there are variety of lodging options near Hampi and the best time to visit Hampi is from about September to January as the weather will be pleasant. While exploring Hampi, you get to see two kinds of places. One, it's royal enclosure where you have places like uh, Elephant Stable, Lotus Mahal and uh, Palace Ruins. Well, the other kind of uh, place which you get to see here are its wonderful, magnificent temples. In our today's video, we'll be exploring many of these temples. Today is my day one in Hampi. Right now, I am on top of Malivanta Hill. Started early with the hope of seeing the sunrise from this hill. Unfortunately, it's cloudy today and hence could not get to see the sunrise. Hampi looks so beautiful during sunrise and sunset. At a distance I can see a temple. Well, this is Malevanta Raghunath Swami temple. This is one of the many ancient temples we get to see here in Hampi. It was constructed around 16th century. This temple is next to a huge boulder. This temple is very beautiful. and it feels so great being here here ram charita manas is recited for 24 hours each day it's said that lord rama and lakshmana during their search for sita stayed in this hill for some time in hampi we hear a lot of references to ramayana temple houses idols of lord rama lakshmana sita and lord hanuman do visit malevanta raghunath swami temple when you're in hampi i plan to have my breakfast and plan to see some of the places early in the day it tends to get very hot during afternoon here right now i am in hampi's vijayavetala temple we need to park our vehicle at the entrance and need to walk for about 1 km vijayavetala temple is indeed a very popular attraction here in hampi wouldn't be wrong to call this hampi's one of the most famed temples and on my way i was able to see utsava mantapa kudre gombe and gejjala mantapa After covering some distance now I am in bazaar area the whole area which you are seeing here used to be once a horse trading center it seems this place was a popular horse trading center this pillars uh, earlier had a roof uh, but now uh, we don't see it uh, but uh, for some of the buildings here we can still see the roof I also got a chance to see a small pond on my way to the temple do make a point to visit this it's indeed very beautiful We get to see many of such uh, pushkarnis here in Hampi. The mandapa in middle of this pond looks so elegant. This hill at a distance uh, it's called Rishimukha Betta. Well, we have almost reached to the temple now. I can see it's Gopura. If you come here after nine, uh, you can come here via battery cars from the entrance. As I entered here I felt such a different vibe to be in middle of this temple. I'm sure you too can experience that when you are here. One of the many attractions in this temple is the stone chariot. This chariot is also printed on our 50 rupees currency. This chariot had uh, stone horses now it's damaged over a period of time and uh, it's been replaced by uh, elephants. The walls of this temple have uh, many inscriptions. Well, this depicts the horse trade which we saw while coming to this temple. Wall of uh, Vitala Temple tells a wonderful story of Ramayana and captures various important uh, events associated with it. Well, this is uh, killing of Bali, a very important part uh, in Ramayana. 
This is the depiction of Sanjeevini, the lifeline given to Lakshmana. Come here and get to live in the times of Ramayana. Indeed, such a enriching experience and feel so great uh, to reconnect with our culture. Vitala Temple also houses Natya Mantap. It was uh, constructed during Krishna Devaraya, and he got it constructed for his wife. The speciality of this uh, Natya Mantap is its uh, musical pillars. Each pillar creates a unique sound of a particular music instrument. Only the pillar which has this kind of musical instrument is actually a musical pillar. I feel so proud of our culture and the creativity of our people. I just can't tell how happy I am being here. This is Bhajana Mantapa, father of Carnatic music. Purandar Dasa used to sing bhajans for Lord Vitala here. Vitala Temple is now a temple without an idol. During the attack of sultans in Hampi, Purandar Dasa took the idol and installed it in Pandrapura in Maharashtra. At the outer periphery of the temple, we see Raja Tulabara. Here the gold and silver used to be weighed against king's weight and they used to be donated to the temple. Now it's time for me to head to yet another attraction here in Hampi. Thankfully, I have a vehicle to drop me to the entrance. Vitala Temple is indeed a very beautiful temple. Go visit when you are here in Hampi. On my way back, I got a chance to see Talwar Ghatta. It is actually the main entrance point to Vithalapura. Right now, I'm in front of Lakshmi Narasimha. It's one of the important structures uh, created uh, during uh, Vijayanagara Kingdom's era. It was sculpted by Krishna Bhatta during the reign of Sri Krishna Devaraya in 1528. Here, Adi Shesha gives a shade to the sitting Lakshmi Narasimha, though the idol of uh, Lakshmi is now destroyed. Just next to the Lakshmi Narasimha is a Badavi Linga. It stands 3 meters tall and is a monolith. This Linga was surrounded by about 3 feet of water. This linga was uh, set up by a poor lady and hence uh, it's called Badavi Linga in uh, local Kannada language. At a short distance from Badavi Linga is Krishna Temple. It was constructed around 1513 by Krishna Devaraya. There is a bazaar next to it and also to its east is a small pond. Upon defeating Gajapati Raya of Udayagiri in Odisha, Krishna Devaraya got the Krishna idol from there and established it here. Well now, I am at yet another wonderful temple of Hampi. This time I am at Hazara Rama temple. This temple was a private place of worship for the royal family. It is at the royal enclosure. The presiding deity of this temple is Lord Rama. Just as in Vijayavetala temple, we can see beautiful depiction of Ramayana in the walls of this temple. Right from the start of the curse of Shravana Kumara's parents to Dasharatha, Till the killing of Ravana, the walls of this temple tell us a wonderful story and enlightens us about Ramayana. Indeed, such a beautiful temple. Here, Ramayana is described in three different layers. Again, feels so great about the architecture of the era. Well, now I am at Saswe Kal Ganesha. Saswe in Kannada means mustard. This is very close to Krishna temple, which we saw earlier. The idol is about 2.5 meters tall. And uh, Lord Ganesha here has four hands. A very short distance from Sasve Kal Ganesha is Kadale Kal Ganesha. This too is carved out of a single stone. These two temples are at Hemakunta Hill. It's so nice to spend your evening here. I also get to see the Gopura of Virupaksha temple. We will be exploring that now. We need to get to this temple via this bazaar. Indeed, the most important and functioning temple is Virupaksha. Even now, uh, there is a puja conducted daily. Well, this is the old Hampi Bazaar. If you get down north of Hemakunta Hill, you can come to the east of Virupaksha Temple. The beautiful and the tall Gopura of Virupaksha Temple was constructed during the reign of Himmadi Devaraya sometime in the 15th century. The Ranga Matapa was constructed during the reign of Krishna Devaraya when in Virupaksha temple do take blessings of Lakshmi the elephant. The Shiva of Virupaksha temple was the Adi Devate of royal family. So when in Hampi, come to Virupaksha temple and be blessed. You need a minimum of two to three days to explore Hampi. Uh, I hope you to get a chance to visit this magnificent and beautiful place. If you like my today's video, do hit the like button and consider subscribing my channel. Thank you. In our upcoming video, let's explore the royal enclosure. There is indeed much more to explore in Hampi. Thanks for being part of today's journey.